back, my friends. This weekend we'll see the 17th annual International Coastal Cleanup. Now here to tell us about this very worthwhile event is EPA Public Information Officer, a good friend of ours, Tammy Joe Anderson Taft, as well as Guam Coastal Management Program Coordinator Tom Kanata. Half a day. Welcome. Thank you for Thank having you. us. All right, we're very happy to have you here. So 17 years, that's a lot of time to actually do an event, and that speaks, I would think, Tammy, we'll start with you, both to the necessity of the event and then also the participation of the local community and the interest in it and everything. So, you know, kind of say from your own perspective and experience in this, you know, like what it means to the island. Well, this event's been going on worldwide 25 years, which shows uh, for the past quarter of a decade, people around the world have recognized that things that we produce that don't biodegrade and go away, they're going to stay in the environment for a long time. That's why it's really important that we take care of them properly. For example, if you throw a plastic bottle at the beach, uh, plastic doesn't biodegrade, but it photodegrades. So if that bottle gets washed away by the waves and ends out in the ocean and the sun continually hits it, it'll break down into little tiny pieces. And as those pieces get smaller, that means that smaller fish can then eat it. And so as that plastic builds up in the food chain, that has really serious consequences for us mm -hmm. because we eat fish and who here doesn't rely on that for protein. And so um, this event is so important for everyone in the world, not just us, because we need to make sure that those things that shouldn't be in the ocean don't get to the ocean. And I think one of the interesting things for me, I've done this event for seven years since I've stayed on Guam. Mm -hmm. And one of the interesting things is that we always find trash that is from our own shores, from people that barbecue and maybe drop a paper plate or something like that. But we also always find trash from other places. And so trash that we leave here, doesn't stay here. It may end up in on a beach in Japan. It may end up in Hawaii. It may end up in Alaska. And so that's why it's really important for us to take care of our, our own trash and also take out as much trash from the ocean as we can. All right, well said. Well, Tom, that's in, um, the whole event is interesting because the character and the diversity of the people that show up to volunteer and, you know, want to want to help out. Obviously, it's people that um, have strong environmental beliefs. And then it's also families and mm -hmm. church groups and social groups. It's also a lot of um, you know, people that just love using the environment, you know, like you see a lot of surfers go out there and you see fishermen and do it. And so, you know, of, talk about who shows up. Of course, they, like you said, there's a lot of uh, civic um, organizations and church groups, youth, youth groups, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts are going out there. Also, uh, some of the even martial arts groups are going out there. So it's, mm -hmm. it's a lot of recreational groups also. Uh, paddlers, they go out there and, and pick up uh, trash. So it's it's a an awe-inspiring uh, to see all these all these uh, thousands of, of volunteers at one single you know one day and like let me just tell you last year we, we there was there was three thousand one hundred volunteers last year mm -hmm. and so we hope to see that increase this year because we've been getting a lot of phone calls where can I go you know what what sites are there and things like that so yeah we we like to like to see that in in all the different groups and and ages actually we okay. have the Monaco group come out you know from mm -hmm. the Lions Club mm -hmm. and they're there usually about four five o'clock <laughs> in the morning mm -hmm. and they're there before we even set up the canopy so well that's a perfect segue because you talked about sites so you know either one of you jump in on this um, what area is going to be in your crosshairs this year because you guys always you know you guys always target a particular place and then you know really do a bang-up job of cleaning well up. we have a few sites that are kind of standards so Tangisen's always a big one and I know the kids from Simon Sanchez are strong supporters of that site go sharks uh, yeah and they will always have EPAN is GW high school mm -hmm. they always make a really big impact there which is really great and we have a, a few other spots like Paseo is always really in need of volunteers because of the rocks and there's always stuff underneath there and then this year we're also doing Marble Cave and we've done Marble Cave for a few years, but because that's such a big site and mm -hmm. because it's also in real need of cleaning, uh, we're partnering with Guam Young Professionals this year, and they can uh, they're bringing their group down there, and we're going to kind of um, kind of try to get that area nice and clean. And the thing is, is that yes, this is a one day event. This is Saturday, and it's the biggest volunteer event in Guam. But Coastal Cleanup Day should be every day for us. Mm -hmm. Everyone in Guam mm -hmm. lives in a coastal area because we're so close to the ocean, and so. And I know sometimes it's hard to convince yourself to pick up somebody else's trash because it seems like, you know, they should have done it. But we all live here and it's all of our responsibility. And so this should be an everyday event for uh, us. And hopefully we can get to the point where we actually won't need to hold an event because the island will be so naturally clean anyway. All right, we got to run, but just tell the people out there uh, when and where. 
It's tomorrow, Saturday the 17th. Mm -hmm. Show up at 7 a.m. in the morning, and uh, there'll be site leaders there. They'll be identified with a little square that says site leader. And pretty much any beach, you can go to Agate, Aston, Umatic, uh, Oka Point area, Ipa, Tangisen. Just pick a beach, go to it, and I'm sure there's a cleanup site. All right, thanks.